Hi guys, Karen here with another Mud Crusade video. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. We hope that you will join the fam and hit the subscribe button. Currently, we are giving away a $100 gift card to LaCrusade.com. The only thing that you have to do uh, to, be, uh, in, um, to be added to the giveaway is to be subscribed to our channel. We are adding all of our subscribers into that giveaway. So that's all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And, you know, and we will greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into today's topic. Um, so, by the way, I wanted to say the temper, the Le Creuset tempered glass lids versus the cast iron lids um, was a subscriber request. Um, and not only that, when I was running it past my sister, uh, who lives in Colorado close to the uh, uh, La Crusade outlet. She has a lot of the tempered glass, so she wanted to know the difference as well. So I, you know, I always like to hear what you guys are thinking about. If you have some ideas or you want me to research something, let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to do it. Um, yeah, research. I find researching and reading fun. <laughs> so it's no problem for me at all um, and actually this was kind of fun so let's get into it so most often when you see the temp when okay so I'll speak for myself most often when I see the tempered glass lid um, I normally see it when it's on sale uh, when it's the item on sale and most of the time I'm not seeing where it's, it has existed before for instance when I go to Crate and Barrel or Williams Sonoma, I don't see the tempered glass lid pot, but I do see a few items um, like that online. Um, you know, but and mostly when I do see it is from Sir La Tabla. So I don't generally see the tempered glass lid that often. Um, and there, I think there are benefits to both the same way that there are, you know. Um, you know there's pros and cons for both the uh tempered glass lid as well as the cast iron lid and let's just get into a few of those if you find that you have some more um pros and cons let me know in the comments below um let us all know because i'm the inquiring minds would like to know <laughs> i'm showing my age with saying that anyway so first up um the tempered glass lids you know um so i have my handy dandy laptop here with all my notes so when you are actually looking for a pot a la crusade pot first and foremost you know what i always ask myself what is what is the motivation behind the pot what am i actually going to use this brazier this dutch oven you know this saucepan what am i actually using it for um, and then, you know, like I said before, I have most of, for the most part, I don't have any glass lid La Crusade items, um, you know, but with that being said, when you use the tempered glass lid, there are lots of benefits to actually using it. So one is that it is very lightweight. So it's a whole lot less heavy is a is not as heavy as the cast iron lid um and because it's lightweight and it's glass it's easy to put into that dishwasher and give it a nice clean that way so you're not having to clean by hand as often the other thing is you're not um you can watch how your food is being cooked inside the pan without lifting the lid so much um and you're not so what that does is that prevents moisture loss um we know too that the because of the that the tempered glass is able to hold in moisture um it, then it makes it perfect for sauteing your vegetables making a good pasta sauce um you know it it makes for that because it's it's, in, it's increasing that moisture and humidity inside the pot, right? Or the brazier or the Dutch oven, um, you know. And you can, like I said before, you can see your food cooking in it. Um, and Le Creuset's tempered glass lids 
can uh, go into the oven up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So, you know, that that's not such a, a bad thing, you know. So if you're wondering about the tempered glass lids pots and you're wondering how well it can manage heat, I think they are great for um, holding in moisture, humidity, um, especially if you're trying to, you know, get those video, those uh, vegetables sauteed, um, or if you're trying to um, create a kind of a steam, a, a vacuum of steam, you know, like heating something up from the inside. Great example to use the tempered glass lid for collard greens, turnip greens, any type of greens, collard greens, turnip greens, they're going to cook it down really fast. Um, you might not, yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's just going to cook it down because it's going to trap that humidity, that moisture inside of it, right? Okay, so, you know, what is, what is the con to it? So far, it can't hold as much heat uh, when you put it in the oven as the cast iron lid. So let's go on to the cast iron lid, the Luckham Say cast iron lid. So the cast iron lid not only traps in moisture, but it also traps in the heat and it becomes, because I have my little, I got the brazier that matches my clothes today. Um, <laughs> so not only is it gonna trap in moisture and heat, but it's going to become a miniature pressure cooker, you know, if you will. So it traps it all and just cooks it down. So, and cooks it down fast, almost as if you, I mean, you can really see how well it works when you put it on, put this whole thing on a uh, grill. It, it really, like, is trapping heat on heat. Um, it's actually really cool if you're like a science person like Maya and I, we, that's really cool. Anyway, um, the cast iron lids are idea, ideal for soups, for stews, for um, chilies, for um, any type of thing like that, you know, anything and something that you want, want to be able to cook down um, and know that you're not going to see. So I think that is the one of the cons that you cannot see what's going on inside your pot in the cast iron pot when, with the cast iron lid. You do have to lift it up a lot, uh, which means like if you're cooking rice, um, like I have, I use the French oven a lot to make rice, so it does make it a bit more difficult to see what's actually going on. And then sometimes the water bubbles out um, because it's cooking so well. But um, you know, it's it's. I think it's still great. With that being said. I think both lids are great. I mean, one thing is a lot of times, like I said, you find the tempered glass lid, brazier, Dutch ovens, saucepans, stock pots on sale. So if you are, you know, if you're like, you're looking for something on sale and you know, and you don't mind the glass lid, I don't, I, I mean, if the only, you know, con that I can come up with is that you know, it doesn't act quite as well as a pressure cooker, then, I mean, there's nothing, oh, and that it can't tolerate as much heat when you put it in the oven. So yeah, that might be, so for instance, that would not be something I would put on a grill. Mm -mm, no, not me personally, but anybody who has, let us know in the comments below. But that, that's not, that the glass lid, the tempered glass lid is not something that I will put on the grill, but, absolutely um the cast iron uh if you're looking for the cast iron pots you know i guess the only thing that i see um is one you're washing it all the time which is not a problem i'm just trying to come up with cons <laughs> um and then the other one is that legitimately you cannot see your food um so you are not necessarily wondering what's going on in the pot but you are trying to con control the heat that's going on inside the pot because you don't want things to burn so you are checking more often than what you would if you had a tempered glass lid
Let me know what you all are thinking in the comments below. I would love to know. This was really interesting. There were so many thoughts that I was able to read, um, but let me know what your thoughts are. And um, this month, I, this month of July, uh, happy 4th of July to everybody. I am hoping, um, well, I'm, I'm planning on doing, getting back more to my the different things about La Crusade and um, that I like, the different questions and nuanced things um, and talking about those things this month. So let me know if you have any ideas or anything that you would like me to discuss. And let me know what you think of the video in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!